Once your ideas are fully planned out and I have signed off on your comic and you're ready to begin your final version, then you are going to use 11 by 17 inch drawing paper. And there should be a folder for each table that has a whole series of shapes um, that you can use. So you're going to notice that I think I used um, this shape here and then I use the large square down here. Um, now, I obviously I don't have a comic that I have in mind, so if I had a comic in mind, I would certainly wanna be thinking about what's happening in each of the cells or the panels, and how do I want you know, this to play out? How do I want this to look? Um, so I've started, I have one that's different. Notice I took this and I used my ruler to kind of break up the sections so that the picture is broken. Uh, so that can be used as a technique as well. And I like this idea, and except that when I go to use, oh, I do have one. I must have picked up the wrong one. I must have picked up the shorter version. I was gonna say I want this to be longer. But I have, I, like I said, I've tried to give you as many as I possibly can um, so that you can figure out what your comic is going to do. Now I think there should be, I thought I had a smaller square in here. Maybe I need to put make a smaller square. I think I need to make a smaller square. So I could have like a small square here and here. I could put another, if I wanted this to match up, I could put another skinny and maybe actually using the edge of my ruler would work. So you have to figure out how many panels you're going to need, how big are those panels going to be, and some of how big your panels are might be de determined by how many panels um, you you have within your comic strip. If you have six panels in your comic strip, you might be um, doing, you know, some of these these larger pieces with maybe some smaller pieces to try and um, fill to really fill your paper so that your gutter space is not too terribly large. So now you're going to plan out where your panels, what your panels shapes are going to be and then you can start drawing the different images within the different scenes of your comic. This, when you start drawing, this is where you have to get technical. This is where I expect your drawing to be really well done, where you can use books, you can use your iPad to look up images um, for different things. So um, that's how you're going to get started on your 11 by 17 inch drawing paper for your final comic storyboard. Have fun.